be aware that you do not come accustomed to a dysfunctional workplace. I once worked in a unique, toxic office environment that was filled with mobbing, bullying, harassment, racism, and sexism. At a certain point, I started to anticipate and welcome the office antics. From the perspective of needing to win a game, talk about a maladaptive coping strategy. The game was rigged dirty and I tried to play fairly. You can never play fair in a game that's rigged. Anyway, I would win some and lose more. It wouldn't be until I got fired that I realized I was allowing myself to become subject to workplace abuse. Afterwards, once I got a new job, things just didn't quite feel right for me. The new atmosphere was quiet and peaceful. It was as if I had developed some form of addictive behavior by wanting to continue my quest in conquering those goons in the prior workplace filled with mental warfare tactics and unscrupulous simpletons. All this to say, whether you are aware of it or not, the longer you stay in a workplace environment that is riddled with mobbing and bullying and harassment, the more you risk paying handsomely with the currency of your mental and physical health. Count the cost of staying in a toxic workplace environment, especially if you have to change your identity, fake laugh, prepare your body to stay and fester in an active flight or fight mode response, spin your car rides to and from work crying, pep talking yourself up in the workplace bathroom or stall just to stay, stay until you are abruptly fired or worst of all if i can't beat them i might as well join them you are worth more than that be blessed